It's best ball here late in the season. Won three out of four now. Big 83-77 to win over uh, Lafayette this afternoon. Have to be pleased with the way your team played, in particular the quick start and then the finish at the end. Well, we scored 83 points. And uh, as I told the team after the game, you know, this was this game ended up being about scoring. And, and uh, we needed to score throughout that game uh, to match Lafayette. And uh, you're right. We, we scored early, and then we made a push at the end, too. And so uh, uh, had to be a good game to watch. I know that. 14 lead changes, certainly entertaining for all the fans here in a, a season-high crowd as well. They were really into it. Uh, five players in double figures. You've been looking for that consistent double figure scoring and you got it really from the entire starting lineup tonight well that was our theme tonight other guys got to contribute we got to have more people contributing to our offense uh in particular in this game because we knew lafayette was going to do some different things they were going to face guard mike they were going to uh you know play some zones some spread out zone they they weren't just going to let mike go off on them and and uh and other guys got to contribute and uh we we emphasized it uh, for the last two, three days. We talked about it before the game. And five guys in double figures, I think, kind of proved that it, it, hit, it hit home with our players, and they responded. And in different stretches, different guys made plays. Tyree White made some big baskets. Chris Effertui continues to play his best basketball here down late in the season, almost had a double-double. And then Mike Earl there late. It's kind of sealed it at the free throw line. Well, those three guys played well. There's no question about it. And Chris Early got some points for us. A couple of offensive rebounds in the second half. Tyree was really aggressive because he had, had foul trouble in the first half. Made some big buckets in the second half. Played well. And uh, and then, of course, Mike Earl. And, and, you know, that's the kind of help that we had tonight that Mike Earl has been needing all season and where he can pick and choose when to score, maybe some big moment scores, but don't have to do it all the time and then hit free throws down the stretch. And that's the, the Mike Erdl we've, we've known, and, and it, it's been tough on him this year. But, more the last couple of games, you know, uh, we've been providing him with the, uh, the extra that he needs. And so that was really nice to see. I thought your club showed some maturity here this afternoon, too, because every time they'd answer, and we mentioned it was a seesaw game, every time they'd forge back ahead, your team had the fortitude to fight back and then seize kind of control there at the end. A uh, bunch of lead changes. I don't know how many it was. 14, 14 lead, lead changes. And, uh, you know, uh, that, that, that drives the coaches crazy. And, and, and uh, at the same time, it's got to feel good as a player to be in a game like that. And you're right, our players, uh, they never folded. And uh, we'd be a little up, we'd be a little down, whatever. They uh, really kept scoring. And, and, and I was really proud of our offense today and, and, and uh, because it took every bit of it uh, to win that game. We had to keep scoring. Couldn't look up at the clock. You needed to keep playing on offense in particular. And uh, we just did a great job on that end. You had a three-game road trip, got one here at home. Now you go back on the road in the Little Rock, but it seems like your team's playing with a lot more confidence right now. Well, they are. You know, we've kind of settled in uh, really through injuries and, and, uh, and, and you know, some guys getting uh, improving. Uh, you know, you mentioned Chris Epertui, and, uh, you know, here he's getting a chance here late in the year to play. And, and uh, you know, Langston's uh, played all 40 minutes today. He's getting a little better every game out. So, uh uh, it's late in the year, you know, and before we really got a little something going, but it's nice to see. And, uh, you know, we'll just keep plowing away and uh, try to have a good practice tomorrow. Congratulations. Okay.